Innovation is the cornerstone of success in America. In order to compete in the global marketplace, businesses and individuals are continuously striving to stay ahead of the game. I'm Terry Bradshaw. You know, from emerging technologies and financial strategies to the latest healthcare developments, you would be surprised by the many factors coming into play. Welcome to Today in America. While sophisticated medical technology is available in health systems across the globe, further advances are constantly being made to better the lives of countless individuals. Let's explore the next generation of medical technology. It's a tragedy Chicago, Illinois area residents Mike and Marion Stanton will never forget. Their four-year-old son Danny passed away in December of 2009 his death caused by a seizure experienced while sleeping. Well, Danny only had seizures during his sleep, and on several occasions we were able to catch his seizures. Um, we could address it then. We could protect him. We could call 911, administer medicine, time his seizure. But the last time, we were unable to revive him, even after frantic attempts by ourselves and by medical professionals. Not long after Danny died, did it occur to Mike and Marion that something must exist which could have spared such a tragedy? Well, our first thought centered around a device that could monitor vital statistics that would attach to somebody, such as a pulse oximeter. We thought then at least parents or loved ones could be alerted to the seizure and then be able to protect the child. The Stantons discovered that a device of the sort already existed in Europe and was far more advanced than what they had conceptualized. Finland-based MFIT LTD has developed new technology that monitors major vital signs and movement without attaching anything to the patient, collects data, and shows it elsewhere using either a local network or the internet. One of the most time-consuming demands is having to check on patients' well-being. And this is often done from door to door and at nighttime can unnecessarily wake patients. MFIT has a number of solutions that can monitor uh, patient movement and vital signs without having contact to the patient. Uh, no cuffs, no electrodes, it all goes through the mattress. The company's core technology consists of a thin plastic under mattress bed sensor and a control unit or monitor. Presence and movements in bed are detected by a person's vital signs from the sensor under the mattress and the monitor or control unit provides notification to caregivers. The technology has been integrated into products used for patients in nursing homes, hospitals, seniors living alone, and parents who have children with epilepsy. 192 beds at Contula Elderly Care Center in Helsinki, Finland are equipped with MFIT's technology. MFIT for nursing homes produces customized alerts that will send alerts to nurses if a patient uh, intends to leave the bed, has left the bed, or uh, has not returned to bed within a preset amount of time. Well, the most important thing is that uh, the system increases um, the safety of our uh, residents, especially at nights. The very important thing is as well that the system is uh, completely uh, invisible uh, because this is home, uh, this is no hospital. At the Helsinki University Central Hospital, doctors are assessing the technology for hospital validation. We hope that uh, with implementation of this technique, we would be able to transfer the patients more rapidly to the ward because we would have a reliable and easy way of monitoring vital signs there. As part of the Danny Did Foundation, a not-for-profit corporation created in honor of Danny, the Stantons are working to get the MFIT product tested and analyzed in hospital settings in the U.S. to help prevent deaths caused by seizures. Well, we know no technology will ever bring our son Danny back, but he's with us every day in our mission to prevent deaths caused by seizures. Yeah, and we're working to bring uh, the MFIT technology to families with kids who have seizures so that they don't have to go through what we've gone through.